Hey y'all, it's Rhonda. Just opened up my little uh, Diamond Press haul. Wasn't really that little, but I'm in Diamond Press heaven. Anyway, um, it's so hard to decide what we're going to do first, so I'm just trying to hurry up and do them all. Like I said before, I'm like a puppy with four tennis balls, and I'm trying to put them all in my mouth. I just, I want them all. I want to do them all. All right. Well, it's finally raining. It's that nice, gentle rain, you know, that good soaking rain that we all need. And I'm hoping with this rain for the next couple of days, it's going to be enough to let the leaves turn instead of, you know, turn the pretty colors instead of green to brown dead. Because <laughs> that's the way it was going to go because we've had crazy weather and uh, we haven't had really enough rain um, for them to turn. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we'll have some pretty, some pretty um, leaves here pretty soon. Um, so I can go out and take some fall pictures. Well, okay, what I decided on was the Just For You template. It's that, um, the bag, the ball, little box. Get this out of the way. So, 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 I'm so excited. So let's pull all this out. Oh, come on. Just gonna get it out of here. I'm going to put it in one of my neat little diamond press folders anyway and in my little three ring binder. All right. Oh, and I need to fix my stamps. Got to fix those. Okay, let's just do it real quick because it's just something I have to do. Okay, I think these are on there. Let me make sure this is straight. Uh, if you didn't know, I always hinge the carriers get that on there uh, come on get on there straight there we go that looks pretty good anyway because uh, they're see-through they're incognito so I'm always losing them and it just I don't know it just bugs me you know, one of those, oh, uh, one of those things that just bugs you. So I take my packing tape. Sorry for the noise. Lay that down. And take the top of my stamps there. And I lay them down about halfway. And then... Boy, it's really coming down now. Always make a little place like that on your tape so you can find it next time. All right. And then I take it and just fold it over very snuggly. Man. What is that, thunder or is that the trash truck? Oh, well. You hear it, it's raining. We were supposed to get some storms, but I don't know if they've kind of lost their mojo or if it's still coming. All right, so see now, well, that's the trash truck. So now we have our hinged carrier. So I don't have to worry about losing it. And it's on there and protects my stamps. All right, so I feel better now. Okay, let's see what the instructions say. And Diamond Press has the best instructions. Okay, of course we have our new cutting um, folder. Let's see, we have our dies. Sure, we have everything. Okay. So it says we need to cut two of these and two of those, two of these and two of those. Um, so there's tabs on the corners. We're going to put adhesive on them, put them to either side of the main box, 
fold it up, glue it, decorate it, and we're done. Kapow! And the crowd goes wild. All right. I'm thinking, you know, it's always so easy to make pretty stuff, girly stuff. Uh, you know, for your crafty girlfriends or for your kids or teachers or whatever. But we hardly ever make anything for guys. And guys like stuff too, right? So let's make a, excuse me, kind of a masculine box. And I hope this isn't going to be too heavy of a cardstock. We're going to try it and see if it is. It's paper. We'll redo it. Um, let me back you up just a little bit. I think you're a little too close here. We're a little too close. We'll try that. Okay. Um, let's try that. We're going to do this for the front and back of the box. And let's do some airplanes for the sides. What do you think? I mean, we could do airplanes for all of it, but that's, I don't know. I just think that's a little much. Maybe not once you get some more embellishments on there. But um, let's just see how it works out. Um, oh, oh, that's my instructions that I just had. <laughs> All right. Well, let me, let me cut out two of these. Come on, diamond press. Two of those. And two of these. Okay. So this is going to be my front and back. And then I'm going to cut this out of the airplanes. And we have to watch the directions since there is a direction on there. So let me cut those out and I will be right back. All right, I have two of the front and back. Or one of the front, one of the back. And then two for either side. All right, and it says to put score tape on either side here. I'm going to go ahead and fold those over. See what we're doing here and fold this one and this one. Let's see where's my bone folder. I'm gonna go ahead and bone folder this. And it says to use score tape, but I am out of the size that I need for this. I have the really, really large and I have the Kind of medium kind of thing. I think it's a half inch. Okay. So we're going to pick one, any one. Okay, just make sure it's the right side. Side. And we're going to glue this on. Like this. Alright, I'm going to use wet glue. Go ahead and fold the bottom of this up. We might as well burnish it. Get a good strong crease there. And then that one a little bit. All right, let's do some gluing. <clears throat> so this is going to go on the inside here. Yep. All right, wet glue. Do your thing. Okay, so we have that. Lots of nice glue on that. I think I'm going to lay this flat. Match up those corners. Hold that down and that down. Make sure we still bend well. And make sure that's going to come together. Go in just a smidge. Okay. And then we'll do the other side. 
glue this up really well. I'm really loving this. Was it barely art glue? I'm loving that. Let me tell you, when it hooks onto something, it hooks on. All right. So let's see if we can do it like this. See what that looks like. And before it gets too wild and crazy, make sure this will close correctly. All right. Can you see how big this box is going to be? Is that not crazy? I mean, crazy. All right. Let's glue this next one on. We'll do the back side or the front side or whatever you want to call it. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, let's see. Is this one clogged up? I just, I was using um, art glitter glue all the time, but it just, this last batch I got was really runny. This is what I'm doing. And uh, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. And the weird, the way that it's acting and I don't know. Craziness. Craziness. Okay, I had to take a little break there. I had to go fix supper. So this is what we have so far. This is kind of our masculine box. So we need to close up the end. And you see it's just the tabs on either side. And then like that. Oops. Okay, let me back up just a little bit. Hang on. I always go the wrong way. <clears throat> go this way just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So we have the tabs on either side and then the tabs here, okay, for the box closure. So let's just go ahead and close this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can glue these down if you want to or not. Um, I think I'm going to add just a little bit to it, maybe just to make it a little more stable. Just a smidge. And then I don't think it matters which one you do. There's that one. Let's put glue on this side. Hear my puppies in there barking and playing. <clears throat> I'm going to have to get these tips and clean them out. They are not wanting to cooperate here. All right, and then fold this one over. Make sure it's squared up there. That's set like this for just a minute. I kind of hold that down. <clears throat> and then what's going to happen is these tall little pieces on either side have slits in them. So they're going to go over the handles like this. And this one's going to go over. Is that not cutest little box ever and look how big that is I mean it's gonna hold a lot all right and so since we're kind of doing a masculine I thought we could um, <clears throat> we're not gonna use the flowers we are gonna use a sentiment sentiment um, we can use we can use I like the high um, let's put thinking of you you know, guys like that stuff too. So let's do thinking of you and um, <clears throat> let's you let's cut out some of the leaves. We're gonna stamp and cut out some of the leaves, and I'm gonna use this frame here and this one. And what I think I'm gonna do, <clears throat> guys like a little bling too. So we're gonna do the bigger one in the gold, 
and let's see I have we could do it in the dark brown I think that'd be too dark um, let's do it in the light okay so we're gonna do this one this will be the insert and this is what we're gonna stamp on and <clears throat> um, let me get some inks out and we are going to stamp some of the leaves and cut those out and decorate it up a little bit. So I'll be right back. All right, so I have my Versify now. I have a couple of green inks. So let's get this, thinking of you. See, I have my little hinge on there so I don't have to worry about losing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's get the thinking of you. We will stamp this. We'll just stamp it in black. Okay. Move our little box over here to the side. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Versafine is really good and juicy. And here again, I always say, you know, the first time you use a stamp, you should ink it up, stamp it on scrap paper. Do that once or twice because there's a coating or something on them. But I've never had any problems with uh, diamond press stamps. I never stamp them off. All right, let's do that right here. I just gotta go kind of slow. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. And let's get, let me put this away. Out of the way. And let's stamp some leaves. We'll do it in a, I've got a couple of different colors here. Ink it up really well. There's one. Let's do another one in this color. It's always better to have one or two extra than not enough. Okay. All right, let's stamp one or two with this other color, just so we'll have a variety. Perfect, and might as well do one more. And this is the um, Crafter's Companion. It's, it's like a rock-a-block or something. Anyway, it's curved and you kind of go with it. Anyway, I've had really good luck with it. And let's see, there's another style right here. Let's do a couple in it. Let me see if I don't have another green. Let's see, let's see. Surely I do. Oh, here's. Here's one. Let's see if this is a little different. We'll see what this looks like. Yeah. Yeah, still, some of these are a little splotchy. And I don't know what the deal is on that. It's like the ink beads up, and uh, that's not cool. Let's see. Okay. Well, they're pretty close in color, but that's okay. That's okay. That's all right. All right. <clears throat> Set these over to the side and get this out of the way. All right. So I'm going to run... I'm going to run this through the die. I have dies for these. I'm going to run those through. And then the um, gold, oh, I'm going to blind you there. We'll do this one. And um, I may be cutting out the tag. I think I'll cut out a tag too, just so we can hang it on the side, just for more zhuzh there. 
and uh, I'll cut all this out and I'll be right back. All right, well, I cut out the little leaves here and the thinking of you and then the back piece. And I went ahead and cut out the tag and stamped Enjoy on it. And let's go ahead and put this down because it's going to take a minute to dry. Let me see if my glue is going to come out. No. My goodness, I'm having the worst time with glue today. My goodness. Where's my needle? I was going to do um, go ahead and glue this down because that um, shiny will take a little bit to dry there. Oh, come on. I am going to have to take these apart. I think it's real thick in the... Uh, oh, there it comes. Yeah. I'll be right back. All right, let's try this again. My goodness. I don't know if I um, just got a bad batch with this art glitter glue or what, but it was really runny in the beginning and it's thickened up now, but gosh, it just keeps um, clogging up on me. And I guess I keep my pen in there and all that. Okay, let's see. Fix that where we want it. Okay, let that dry. And then what I thought I would do, since we have a little gold there, I get a piece of scratch paper here, is let's outline this in gold. I have um, this new pen. Um, this is uh, Deco Color. Who is it made by? Marvy. Yeah, it's a Marvy. And, um, I have the smaller one, but this is the really, the really wide, come on, the really wide tip. Yeah. So you can put a ruler or something straight across this, or you can just freehand it. I think I'm just going to freehand it. I do a lot of this on the journals, on the edges of the pages. And this dries really quick, too. And let's do the corners here. Across the top. And shall we do the back? I'll just leave it like that. Uh, let's just do the back. Why not? Won't take but a second. That little extra. Looks like you worked really hard on it. If I'm not getting any. And across the top. There we go. Okay. So let's glue this down and finish this box up. Oh, I had my um, African gray, anyway, lost a feather. And uh, so is that not neat looking? Let me see if I can get it to focus on oh, the details. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you can sharpen the end and it's hollow, so that's what they would use um, to write with. Of course, they use the bigger, uh, bigger feathers because it was easier to hang on to. But they're hollow, so it would it would hold the ink. And then, like I said, you'd sharpen the end and you'd get a really fine point. So, anyway, just thought that was cool. All right, let's. So we can pick either side; doesn't matter. And to get some little twine on that. And let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and not do too much on this side so that way we can tuck 
some of those leaves underneath. Okay, stick that in the middle. Stuck in the middle with you. Looks pretty good. All right, let's do some leaves here. It's still pretty runny. Let's do one of these. Kind of cover up that tail. And you could pop some of these up if you wanted to. Hold it for just a second. See if we can scooch this one under there. Yeah. Like I said, guys like this stuff too. I mean, it doesn't have to be all frilly and it doesn't have to be just real plain. But uh, I think the guys in our lives appreciate this stuff. What do you think? Do we need one more? No, I don't think so. Kind of do that one off a little bit. Well, that's not bad. Okay, let's put a little glue on it. Might as well we have it. Let's use it. All right, right. Okay, let's squeeze that one in there. And they don't all have to be necessarily glued down and give them a little dimension. All right, well, I am I just absolutely love this box. And I will get some twine and um, we'll hang this from the from the side. And I think that's just a nice little addition. But, I mean, this can be for any guy. You could put a coupon in there for dinner. You could um, gift card to Bass Pro. Uh, lots of candy. You know, his favorite candy. Um, anything. But, I mean, like I said, that is a big, that is a substantial box. And you could get a lot of stuff in this. So, um, anyway, well, thanks for spending some time with me, and Diamond Press, you knocked it out of the park again. I mean, I'm loving this. So, um, until next time, bye for now.